besides sending the police, you might want to send an ambulance or a hearse. Hello, Billy Ho here, and welcome to uh, the Charles Schwab Challenge for 2023. Uh, today, we are going to dive into the course a little bit more and try to find some course fit type players, like players that fit the mold of the type of player that you want to, that will play well on this particular golf course, Colonial Country Club. Uh, so we're going to be digging into the course again a little bit. If you've watched the preview show, I already went over all the skills that, that I like, uh, and we'll, we'll kind of buzz across that real quick too. So anyway, stick around because you might be surprised what we find in the 6 and 7K range uh, toward the end of the show. We, uh, we're going to run a model, and uh, some of these guys are popping up there pretty high in my uh, course fit model. It's just the first run. Uh, just give me an idea on the type of players that we want. So please hit that subscribe button, smash that like. Uh, there's always a preview article. The contest is live. Link will be in the description. So uh, let's get started. All right. So this is the beginning of the article, uh, just a preview article that I like to put together. It helps me think and organize my players. I had started down here and I already made corrections, but I had almost this exact thing lined up. I had Scotty, the only 11K player. I had all these guys. And the only thing I had wrong here was I had Homa in the nines and Spieth in the tens. And they were basically backwards, 10-1 versus 9-9. So... I think probably because, uh, I don't know, maybe the just the recent results. But Spieth, I thought, would get the course history bump into the 10K range. And then it's a few guys like Bramlett, I thought, was going to be 8K, the way he's been playing golf lately, and Justin S. Uh, but those guys were not. So anyway, uh, we're heading over to the uh, L Cheat Sheet here, and we're going to look at some players and see what's going on. Uh, so we're going to start up at the top with Scotty. He's obvious. I mean, he's got a great uh, – he's always in great form. It doesn't matter that he almost just won the PGA Championship. He'll probably come right back out to Texas, the place he loves to play. He always gives maximum effort. Green and regulation percentage is one of the few guys in in the 70s. Uh, and then uh, my man Jaeger Bombs uh, is another guy that I see just right off the top. So hitting a ton of greens, super accurate, super long. I mean, everything that you would want in a player. And with these value plays that I'm going to come up with uh, later on, you're going to be able to fit Scotty Scheffler into your builds uh, with no problem. So uh, then there's other guys in here. Do you wonder if Vic Victor bounces back uh, from the disappointing one bad shot, really? I don't think he beats Brooks, but we'll never know. I mean, he had said the same thing Corey Connors did on Saturday. He just, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. But anyway, uh, there's a couple of guys up here, and uh, Colin Morikawa and Max Homa. I want to briefly mention before we get going. Morikawa, the perfect fit with this ball striking and the less reliant on the around the green game, uh, and he can putt well on bent. It's just a matter of time. I, I think he might have lost strokes last week with the 26th. Uh, so, um, the putting is the problem, but you know, when he spikes, he gains, you know, if he, if he gains three or four strokes putting this week, he's probably going to win the tournament. So just keep that in mind. So, uh, he's a possible winner. And uh, uh, Max Homa is another one. Uh, and his problem is not the putter, it's the driver. So if they combine forces and he gave a little putting over to Morikawa, they'd be, they would be the true Homakawa, wouldn't they? Uh, but anyway, uh, if he drives the ball, he's going to top five, Max Homa. 10-100 is the kind of value I like because that sandwiches him in between Morikawa and Spieth, and then the defending champ, Sam Burns, is right there. I think people will go back to Burns. I, I think they'll forgive the recent struggles uh, that he's had just because he's a winner and he's got a massive upside. Maybe they'll forgive Sungjae. He really uh, torpedoed a lot of my lineups, did not even crack double digits in DraftKings scoring. Nine points. 
Justin Rose. It was the other one I wanted to mention. Will be popular uh, after looking good last week. Uh, back to being more consistently good. He's got to win this year. Uh, gaining a lot of fantasy points. Uh, great putter. All around game. Uh, and, and then the only thing he's losing a little bit off the tee. Uh, but because he's not as long as quite as long as he used to be. But he's accurate. So that should just fit him absolutely perfect course fit. And he does have a big win here a few years ago. Just ninth place finish. The only weird thing I noticed was he missed the cut here last year coming off the PGA Championship where he finished 13th. So I don't know if maybe it's a little major lag that that he's uh, that, that the following week he just doesn't quite have his game. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on the ownership. If it gets outrageous, I'll, I'll have no problem fading him if he's like 25% or something. Uh, but anyway, we're getting into the real value. I, just skimming down here, Denny was another one. I think Denny's a good course fit here because he's always a good putter. He's not as long off the tee, but he is accurate. Cam Davis, uh, my man come through for me. I wish I would have had more of him at the PGA last week, but I did get a pretty pretty decent cash off the off of one of the lineups I had him in. Uh, just bent grass putting, and he didn't even gain strokes putting on on bent last week. I just always play Cam Davis on bent, but I normally like him when there's more par fives to be had. But that fourth place finish on a par seventy, uh, he can take advantage of the distance, and uh, he he must have been a little bit more accurate, or he put, or he did some mad scrambling out of the rough uh, because he I led almost. Uh, he was pretty high up there as far as strokes gained off the tee. Anyway, so uh, Jaeger was the other one I wanted to mention before we dipped into the sevens. Uh, 70% greens in regulation, hits it long, but uh, he can club down if he needs to. But I, I just I, I like the way his form is. Even though he fell all the way back to 50th, uh, he, he, he just bled strokes putting all week. He had that one good Saturday where he in the rain where he gained like three and a half, four strokes putting, but the rest of the week he lost like five or six. So, uh, and my man Taylor Moore is always in the mix on hard, harder courses. Uh, he did make the cut again. That's two majors in a row uh, that he's made the cut at, even though he, he fell all the way to 72. Uh, he might be a good fit for this week at, uh, being the uh, winner earlier this year at it's sort of a tight fairway, you know, technical, technical kind of course. Uh, but here's, here comes the value. I promised you value. You're getting value. Let's go over here and check the custom model. I ran this using a lot of approach uh, and, and some putting some course history uh, accuracy only uh, off the tee, things of that nature. And I got uh, some interesting guys. So Rose obviously hit the top. Uh, but you got Scotty, Tony, obviously, but Andrew Putnam, uh, mind you is the first one. 7,100, uh, ranks really high, obviously had that career kind of run in the fall through the first of the year. And then he fell off when he hit the West coast swing a few, uh, but he's kind of back now. The, the ball striking's back. The approach game is back. Uh, he did miss the cut on the number at the PGA champ, but his, his metrics weren't too awful bad. I think he just has, cause he's distance challenged. And I think the length of the course just got to him a little bit, but he's a terrific putter. And uh, so uh, not long, but accurate hits a lot of greens, 7,100 great, great price for a great fit. Uh, my next guy is 6,900. Uh, my man, Nate dog, Nate Lashley. We're going to come over here to the cheat sheet so we can see a little bit better. Uh, he is down here at 6,900 and he is 295 off the tee. So not long, but accurate 67% greens and reg, uh, that 0.64 on approach is what I like to see out of him. And he is a little wishy-washy on the bent putting, but he, he can put, uh, and he's lost strokes putting here in the last three or four appearances. So that's my one concern with Nate is the putter. So just keep that one in mind. But everything else looks pretty good on paper for him. He, he's got some decent history here. So uh, he he's definitely 90 or 6,900 under 7K. That's what we like. Uh, ben Martin's back on the radar and he's sub 7K. He's 6,800 and he is a good ball striker. 
uh, gains off the tee, but he's a little distance challenge. Very accurate, high greens and reg, good putter, just a slight negative around the green, but we don't need around the green as much. Uh, so he's solid, and he is a slight positive on bent. Um, another guy down here, which I, I feel like is still kind of a joke or a trap, is Michael Kim with these results. You know, he had the, those three three straight tournaments where he had good results with a top 10, seventh. And then I'm like, okay, but he's long enough off the tee, 305. He's not that accurate, but he hits almost 70% greens. He is really highly ranked in the good drives department. So he might lose a little off the tee, but he makes up for it in other ways. And he's been on a really, really good putting streak. Uh, and, oh, by the way, he did gain like 13 and a half strokes at the John Deere Classic way back when he won that at like 28 under par. So uh, the bent it has been good to him in the past. If he if he has a spike putting week, he's going to be around. Dylan Wu, Wu Tang, uh, similar, not quite as accurate as the rest, but greens and reg, good uh, good approach numbers, good putter. Uh, you know, Bent's not quite his surface, but he's been putting well lately. So he fits the ball striking and greens gain top ten in the field mode. So uh, I, I think, uh, and he, I don't know if he'll be as popular. Maybe he's been a little out of sight, out of mind after a missed cut uh, at Byron Nelson. So uh, I think those wide open courses like that, sometimes he loses a ton off the tee. So this kind of evens things up for him a little bit. Uh, your boy Akshay, I might be on the, on the board with Akshay Bhaktia, uh, 6,700. He gets mad hot on approach. He makes a ton of birdies, great DK score. Uh, long, pretty long and pretty accurate. Uh, a lot of greens and reg. Uh, so he he could be a good upside play. I think he'll be kind of popular just because he's been in the news lately with uh with a top five finish. Uh, made his last two cuts, so he's a solid play, I think. Uh, and then down down below, I'm gonna leave you with this: sixty three hundred Carson Young, and I know he's been kind of he was kind of in the mix there. Uh, he's been like every other tournament, so I guess he's due to fail. <laughs> I don't know. He went 19th, missed cut, 15th, missed cut, 14th. So maybe he, if he misses the cut, then I guess we got us, got ourselves a pattern. Uh, but not super long off the tee, just a hair under 300 uh, on the distance, but accurate and a lot of greens and reg. Uh, good off the tee game, ball striking, uh, decent. Uh, across the board gainer, which is I, I kind of like for consistent guys, 6,300, you can't beat it. Uh, and the last guy I did want to leave out on, I just happened to notice because he was 6,300 as well, Adam Long. Uh, and he is distance challenged, but he is deadly accurate off the tee. Uh, and the, but the approach game has been awful this year. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with him just getting stuck on your Wells Fargo's and your Vedantas and places where you just – you just wide open and you can hit as far as you want. And he's only 289 off the tee. Uh, so uh, I think maybe he has a bounce back. If he can bounce back on the approach game, he'll be just fine. Solid play at 6,300. Uh, he can get hot with the putter sometimes and make some birdies. So I I'm digging on him. But uh, it turned out to be some really good value. I think that opened up down here. And with all those 6K and 6,700 and even 6,300 players, you can do you can go too deep down there, I think, even or a low 7,100 guy. Uh, and then you can do whatever you want up top. Honestly, you can start with Scotty. You could probably do a Scotty and a high 9K guy. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll be out with DraftKings either tomorrow or Wednesday. And uh, until then, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.